Okay, so I want to talk about Facebook Marketplace and what pisses me off about it, bro. So I've I've been I've been on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the episode of the Undrafted Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the whole Chris and Mr. Beast drama, stuff like that. And then uh, Cameron's going to hit us with some uh, Texas stories. So stay tuned. Hope you all enjoy. So there's some more controversy surrounding Mr. Beast again. What? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should leave that in. No, cut that. Wow. Wow. All right, so there's some more controversy surrounding Mr. Beast again with his, I uh, guess, best friend, Chris Ava Taylor, Ava Taylor, Chris. I don't know what his or her name is anymore. I hate the fact that Mr. Beast is, like, still dragged into this. Even though it has nothing to really do with him, but well, it's one of his employees, so yeah. I mean, it it it, it kind of falls on him in a way. Yeah, was one of his employees. Yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, she stepped down. What did she do? Well, she she pulled a doctor disrespect. She was uh, talking to minors. You know, and the whole thing is, you know, before Ava was Ava was Chris, right? He had a family, had had a wife a kid left it all behind for this and now is getting caught up in all of this mm-hmm. you know it's just it's crazy how you go from that to this yeah you know and it's and it's not even the whole transition thing it's it's the minors it's the you know the now you have a kid of your own and now you're trying to you know hook up with one yeah so i i actually saw nick Merckx actually reacted to a video that was explaining this whole thing so i don't know who the original uh, original creator was but if you want to check out that video it's nick Merckx and he's reacting to the video but in that video that that creator like deep dove into discord messages and and twitter messages all about chris and what he was doing and who he was talking to and he was just saying some weird Kind of stuff you really don't shouldn't be saying to somebody who's literally under, obviously a minor. But I think this person was like fourteen years old, maybe younger. Yeah. So um, even which is even way 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 more inappropriate. But still, any minor. But he also dropped the uh, a picture of his dingling in the Discord. What? Yeah. I didn't know about that? Yeah. I didn't watch the whole video. And that, that's that, and that's part <laughs> of the thing they were saying about Mr. Beast was they were like, Yo, Mr. Beast was in that chat because like his green his light was green or whatever mm-hmm. so like he saw it he knew what was happening and said nothing about it but i doubt it though because hell you can have your computer on and, and yeah and right have a green dot and disc this guy over here juan leaves this piece Juan's all online, online all day every day <laughs> he's on he's he's chronically online bro. <laughs> all day every day all day every day i'm like oh juan's on is <laughs> i call him on discord nothing i jump in a chat room and and like Adam, nothing. I call him. Oh, sorry, man. I'm playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Beast put out uh, on July 24th at 9:30 p.m. Excuse me. Uh, this is Mr. Beast saying, "Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations against Ava Tyson's behavior, which is uh, Chris, uh, his behavior online. I am disgusted and." Imp- opposed to such unacceptable acts during that time i have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure i have all the facts so basically internal affairs yeah that said i've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove ava from the company my channel and any association with mr beast I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. Yeah. I think that, I think that Mr. Beast did a smart thing as far as like, you know, listening to his team. I know he didn't make that decision on his own. Um, He could have swept it on the rug, you know, that's, so that's good on him. Yeah. So like, but with streamers and YouTubers recently in the past, like, 
years literally getting blasted on the internet about this you can't sweep that up yeah. <laughs> yeah no no and it, it'll be just uh hard for uh hard for anybody to do that all right so the person that the minor at the time that was being messaged by chris had originally come out and said you know that chris did nothing wrong um it was just a couple of edgy jokes but it's because he likes but recently this person had come out and said that they condemn the messages looking back now as an adult saying hey yeah that was not appropriate these sh- things should have never been said from an adult to a kid this just was not appropriate at all and they have a <clears throat> a message that they put out <coughs> so this was before the transition then uh, you said that this was this, this was person, before the transition. yeah yeah this is this one when he so was this, a ma- when she person, was a man this person that that they were messaging and everything was a kid at the time, but now yeah. an adult. Right. Oh. I yeah. Know. So at the time, Chris was 20, or 20, 21, and this kid was 13. Oh, gotcha. So this is what the person has now said. Based on the recent screenshots and messages, I would like to say a statement about the Discord. This was five or six years ago, and I thought I thought that I had a good memory of the situation, but I was wrong. After reading the chat logs, this stuff was inappropriate and wrong. I spoke based on my memory of the situation, and I still do not remember these conversations, but they definitely happened. These conversations should not have happened with people at the age I was at the time. I strongly condemn them. I still believe I am not a grooming victim, but these conversations should not have happened with me and any other minor in this discord. I was a minor in this situation and not the adult influencer who shouldn't have allowed this to happen. I did not see this wrong at the time. So basically now he's just coming out and saying that, yeah, that was very inappropriate. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I did not know this was a a while back. But my thing is, it doesn't matter if you're a changed person. Yeah, yeah. You you still did it as an adult, so you should still pay the consequences. Yeah. I I, uh, listen to a lot of Chris Hansen podcasts, so. This is uh, this kind of right up my alley. I, I, I like uh, I like his podcast and him talking about all the predators he caught. Dude, recently I've been seeing nothing but Instagram reels of predators getting like beat beat up. Oh, dude, I like, like instead that. of like just like calling the cops or like fuck it, we're not gonna call the cops, and they just start hitting on the dude. Yeah, I like the one where they ask him, and then the, the predators like, "Why does it matter?" He's just like, whack. Yeah, he's like, "Why does it matter?" She's had two was twelve. <laughs> I saw I saw a one one guy try to try to beat up a predator and predator shot him in a, <laughs> yeah. in a Walmart. Yeah, in Walmart. In a Walmart. Uh-huh. I was like, damn, that backfired. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> yeah, that's why you need the police on that. <laughs> you one. see the one where it was a skinny kid and they're falling to the parking lot and he's screaming and yelling, gets in his car, slams it in reverse, hits a tree, and then drives off. <laughs> completely completely wrecks trying to leave. The <laughs> yeah. That was funny. <laughs> But, so, talking about that, I feel like, even I've seen comments about it, too. It's like, yes, these guys are completely, like, horrible people. But I feel like this is, some people use this as an advantage to just beat up on somebody, knowing that they're not going to get any repercussions for it. Yeah. Like, like if you just have built up anger, you're like, well, let's go catch some predators and beat the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, not a bad idea. Yeah, well, it's, so, it's perfect, too, because it's like, what's the predator going to do? Exactly. Call the cops? Yeah. Like, okay, here's why I'm here. Hey, we can call the cops or I can slap you 10 times in the face as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But oh, it, it's just, it seems like it's just a reason to beat up on somebody. But then again, they're shitty people. Yeah. Hey, sorry for taking away from the video, but uh, couldn't help but notice that you're most likely not subscribed. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. We're uh, trying to meet a goal and uh, possibly a giveaway. So... We'll go ahead and put you back in the video. Thank you. So, uh, you know, recently I think we've all taken trips to San Antonio, right? You, 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 you and Jalen went to San Antonio. Yeah, that was our last trip before Rowan was born. Yeah, and I went. I went the year before you. Uh, did you know that uh, there's some haunted railroad tracks over there? I know I've I've talked about some haunted railroad tracks in Athens, but these mm-hmm. these are in in San Antonio. Okay. Okay. All right. In the 1930s or 40s, there was a bus full of children. Uh, Not the children Yeah it was children Uh, They were going home The bus comes across these tracks And uh, was hit by the train Everyone on the bus died Damn Shame And uh, yeah no Womp womp Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Don't leave that in Uh, Anyway um, 
So to this day, if you go there, if you go to these these railroad tracks where the bus was hit, and if you put your car in neutral and idle over the tracks, your car will still, even if it's uphill, it'll still go over the tracks. And, you know, there's lots of videos on YouTube of it, but if you put, like, uh, you know, some powder, baby powder on, on your bumper and stuff, there'll be handprints there. I think I actually You've saw seen that. that? He, I, saw, I saw a TikTok video about this. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's something that we need to try. You know, there's there's a lot of uh, there's there's a list of things that we need to go do. You know, we need to go to Athens for the for the monkeys and stuff. What? No, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Go, I'm not doing that. Why? You don't want to be Ghostbusters, bro? No, wait, it's not Ghostbusters. Wait, it's, it, do you not want to do it because you don't think it's real and it's boring? Or you scared? no, you I don't scared? Wanna, no, I don't want to do it because you're inviting things into your life. Oh, okay, you scared? Yeah. The f- What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Well, I know he just, don't care. Just tell them, hang out with me. I don't want you part of my Ma- life. Mace's got Ouija boards all over his house. Yeah, he don't, he don't care. Man. I'm not inviting them in. I mean, they're still minors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're right. You're right. I just want him to push my car. <laughs> <laughs> God. So what? So even if you're uphill, it's yeah. idling. It's like they're pulling your car. Well, it's like they're the pushing it. Yeah, they're they're pushing, pushing it. it. They don't want anyone else to get hit by the train. Ava's gonna be there real quick. Oh no! <laughs> they don't want anybody else to get hit yeah. by the train. Dr. But they're disrespect pulling you. Doctor disrespect. What <laughs> Mart- martyrs wear? <laughs> huh? That's fucking a lot of episodes. <laughs> well, don't you true. like one? I, and you know, I don't, I, I don't like I don't like Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Um. Something about it is r- really makes me upset. It really grinds my gears. What about what? What is it? Um, well, I love classic cars. Don't take my topic. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about Facebook Marketplace and what pisses me off about it. Oh, uh, what pisses you off? That's was Juan's thing. No, <laughs> I'm gonna restart this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about Facebook Marketplace and what pisses me off about. Wow. It. <laughs> so so I for the past months, hell, maybe a year, I don't know. I, I'm just window shopping on Facebook Marketplace. I like classic cars, I like bikes, I like trailers, I like all that stuff. So I'm like constantly just opening up Facebook Marketplace with no intent to buy anything. I just want to see. Oh, uh, so you're like a browser. Yeah, but I'm I'm all about classic cars. So when I go on here, <laughs> these I hate when people post something. They're like, Man, I want twenty five thousand dollars or forty thousand dollars for this car. But they only post three pictures. <laughs> and the pictures are blurry as hell because the dude's like an alcoholic that hasn't drank in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pissing me off to where it's like, you want all this money. And then you're like, too many parts to list. DM me. I know what I got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, like, I like those memes where somebody's trying to buy stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And... Um, like, uh, yeah, I have this car that I'm selling. And they're like, can you send a pic? And the dude sends a picture of himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, no, of the car. <laughs> but, man, dude, that, this has been pissing me off, bro. And it's like, there's, there, if you're, t- like, I saw this one. I showed you one to where it was a classic car. It was a project car. But he took a picture of the front and the back. Not one from the sides. Not one from the interior. And then one of the of the odometer. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and that was it. It was three pictures. And I think and in the description it. it said odometer has, does it work. And I'm like, okay, sweet. Thank you for that. Still I'm take the picture do. of it. So it's just stupid stuff like that. But I've also been seeing a dude who uh, who makes videos where he's screen recording. He's on Facebook Marketplace and he lowballs people but also roasts them <laughs> in the same way. And then me and you talked about it before to where some people will use like girls. Like if they're selling a boat, they'll post a picture of like a girl on there. And this same dude would be like, ugly ass bitch. Anyways, here's 2K. You know, get it ready for me. Get it ready for me. (laughs) (laughs) You know, something because Cheyenne uses Facebook Marketplace and she's noticed anytime she says, is this still available? They just immediately block her. Okay, so I can can say something about that. On Facebook Marketplace, people will literally put in the description, will not reply to, is this available? Yeah. Yeah. No trades, will not reply to, this is available. What are you supposed to say? Hey, you what are still you supposed got this? to say? Oh, you still got this? That's that's the exact same. As, <laughs> I, I, I wonder. <laughs> it's just because it's such an auto auto generated thing to where you can yeah, it's a maybe. quick text to where it's yeah. just like. But anybody, they just expect. Oh, five thousand dollars. Hey, I have five thousand dollars. I'm ready to buy this. I'm coming over right now. But, that's what they, but they want. I I, I kind of agree with that because I've sold two cars in my lifetime on Facebook Marketplace. My first car and then my my old truck. I got a lot of. Is this available? I'm like, yeah. They never respond back at all, ever. So it's like annoying just to have to like text. Oh back. yeah, maybe. Yeah, but I mean, if you're true. serious about it and you use it and you actually reply back, that's 
that's fine. But There's a lot of scammers on Facebook Marketplace. Oh man, you'll see a fucking 1970 Chevelle for 10k, and then they post three pictures that look like they got from Google, and then they're like, "Meet up." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was trying to buy a fucking Xbox uh, Series X. Mm-hmm. And this dude was like, in the in the little dis- literal description, it says black, one terabyte, all that crap. But his pictures are of Xbox Series S, and it's white. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't know what the hell they're selling on there. But man, it's just it just frustrates me. And I like I said, I have no intention to buy anything. But it's like if I was. And it really pisses me off when they want a ridiculous amount of money for it. Mason likes to pretend that he's in the market for <laughs> <laughs> And they gets really mad when it's like convenient. <laughs> or, or like I'll see something that, that's like like for a fully restored car, somebody wants twenty five grand for it. But for a piece of shit project car, they still want twenty grand for it. I'm like what? You gotta think a little bit. Well, how about you do some research Man, imagine, on what you're selling? Imagine what Mason's actually looking to buy something out there. Freaking heads gonna explode. <laughs> it's just it's just so annoying, bro. And then like, but and also like these people that want to sell these like cars, they don't clean them. Like the inside has like McDonald's trash wrappers <laughs> and stuff. I'm like, at least if you're selling it, clean it up a little bit. It's just, I don't know. It just pisses me off. You're really grinding me. I just hate years. my lot. My dad <laughs> sold a boat on, I don't think it was Facebook Marketplace because he's never had Facebook. It might have been eBay, but he sold a boat on there. <laughs> Not Craigslist? eBay. I feel like Craigslist. You don't even what did know. I say? You said eBay. Oh, yeah, it's probably Craigslist. I say people bidding on Cra- this thing. Craigslist is, <laughs> Craigslist is sketch. But, I but he sold Craigslist. a boat on there. It was a nice uh, bass tracker. And uh, he sold it, right? He Somebody, somebody was interested. He sold it. And then... He hadn't taken it down just yet. Mm-hmm. He had just got done talking to the guy, arranging things. Someone else said, "said Yeah, I'm interested. How would how do you feel about taking this for?" He's like, "Sorry, I already sold. I already have a." Somebody. And they replied by saying, "I'm gonna fucking kill you." <laughs> <laughs> oh god! God damn! Man, I love the internet. <laughs> so the only, the only thing I like about Facebook this was this was probably years ago when I was looking for a boat. <laughs> And there was this one boat that this person was selling for 2500 It was a bass tracker, but it, it was set up, and it was yeah. almost new. And I read the description, and it was the woman selling it. Like, hey, my husband just passed away. I'm just trying to get rid of this. And it was a, it was a deal, bro. It's just years ago I didn't have the money, but that was, like, the deal. Like, I feel like that's what people look for on Facebook Marketplace are just these steals. And then it was sold, man. I was pissed. You were pissed even though you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I just, I just Mason's hate. got so much experience on Facebook marketplaces. <laughs> never bought anything. That's all I look at, bro. Oh man! Recently, I've been looking into campers too. Shit's so expensive. But then it you have good. one. I, yeah, but I want to get rid of that one. Okay. What's wrong with that one? I have to restore it, man. Well, what about the mattress we gave y'all? That was supposed to be for the camper. They threw that away. They didn't tell you that? We have it. I can give it back to you. <laughs> well, no, we don't want it. It's just that y'all really needed that mattress. <laughs> well, we were also restoring this trailer before we found out Jalen was pregnant. So oh, it's yeah, been true. on the back burner. And now we kind of just wanted to get a new trailer. <laughs> Jalen's back there. It's just like. It's not even what happened. <laughs> You're not on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> gave that mattress to my sister. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. There, oh. You know that's that's perfectly fine. We 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 never wanted it back. I just was like, I thought it was still sitting in the trailer. <laughs> I'm retarded, dude. He's gonna he's gonna be that guy he was just complaining about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come get this trailer. It has a new mattress in it. I don't take a picture of it. it has anyway. a brand new, never used mattress. Anyway, forty been, grand. Been my mattress since I was like eighteen. Will not respond to random messages. I know what I got. <laughs> don't low, low don't lowball me now. Don't lowball me. Is it a gooseneck or a fifth wheel? Or it's a gooseneck. Okay. There's a difference. Yeah, there is. Sorry. You know, but you should be watching The Undrafted on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> now I have no choice but to play the ad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back from that ad. <laughs> Cameron said the magic words, so we had to play it. <laughs> so, guys, uh, usually the day that we record, I post a community chat on our channel to see what you guys want us to talk about. Um, usually, whenever you guys try to ask stuff in the uh, stream, sometimes you know we're playing games or we're doing something or we can't get to it or whatever the case may be. Um, so, this is the perfect time to do that. So, I'm going to read some of these bad boys. I'm going to read two of them. There's three. 
I'll save the other one for the uh, next episode because we're we're doing pretty good on time, and I want to keep it that way. Um, so, gaming vlog channel update. Gaming vlog. So I think you're talking about our two separate channels that we do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, vlog. Uh, so basically, we have an editor who is not editing right now. Why is uh, not? Because Why not? he's working a lot. He said he's, he's supposed to be, be working for us. He's going to be doing it overtime. <laughs> <He's supposed laughs> <to be working laughs> for us. We don't pay this man's salary. Like, he's going to be uh, doing it overtime, pretty much like the rest of the year. Yeah. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to figure that out. Um, if if he does come back uh, in pretty soon, then I am freed up to start doing some vlogs. Now, as far as gaming channel goes, we'll leave that in. Uh, as long as game, as far as gaming channel goes, we have Dale as the editor of our gaming channel. And not only that, I have downloaded some some software to edit videos, uh-huh. and I I've, I've made my own. You saw the video that I yeah. made. I can start making some stuff and and uh, helping out with that. Now my my editing software is is free, so <laughs> it's not great, but it's uh, it, it it allows me to make things the way I want it to, and then I can send it to you, and then it's like half the work for you or, or whatever. You know, you can download DaVinci for free. I don't it, know what that it, is, but it, it's a I was software. looking. I looked up on Google download windows movie maker apparently they don't make that anymore that is what i'm used to making videos with and it's not a thing anymore but i saw an ad for oh do you miss movies uh, windows movie maker try this and it, it is just like it so dude you're about to get roasted in the comments for saying that <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Like, this man still uses windows movie maker that's <laughs> wild bro. that is what i am used to it's i was simple. literally gonna make a joke and say <laughs> See maybe, I mean? maybe you should just use like the windows like standard editing software and turns out that's exactly what you use. <laughs> He's going to re-download it, it Windows was, but Vista. it's not a thing anymore. They don't they don't have that anymore. It's called like Clipmate or something. And I don't like Clipmate. I don't like that. It you have to pay for it and everything. It's 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 stupid and it, it's not even easy to use. I agree. Okay. That's why we have somebody with <laughs> editing experience that you can send it to that has a uh, you act like I don't know why you look surprised whenever we've already talked about this. <laughs> I wouldn't say surprised. It looks like he's just on his high horse. He's just like, yeah, that's me. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so uh, we have the VOD already downloaded. Uh, we're gonna go push you can that. Call to it VOD. We have a VOD yeah, downloaded. A two-hour GTA clip with me, Cameron Quest, playing yes. GTA. Yes. A little bit of Mason in there. <clears throat> and uh, that should be going out to the gaming channel. So you heard it here first. As far as vlog goes. I want to suggest something about the vlogs. Maybe if y'all want to see it. I want to do like a golf vlog. Not like super long. Maybe just a few holes. But like have Dale. Do you golf? Hell no. Great. You're, you're going to update. I started golfing. <laughs> when do you guys go golfing? Uh, Sunday, Mondays, or Tuesdays. Ah, so I'm, I'm busy. Yeah, he's Sun- got to What work. about Sundays? I'm busy. We're doing this on Sunday. I'm here. No, next week. We're going out next week. No, I know, but like on an off. I know what you're talking about. God damn it. Uh, then football's starting soon, so you know. Uh, anyway, vlog, yes. Uh, so like in our little thing, uh, it says, I forget what it says, uh, vlog, golf, <laughs> something, something. I don't know. I forgot. Uh, but like. That's part of the that's part of it too. So yeah, we're, we're gonna have golf on there eventually. We just gotta find a camera person to film, um, for you to see how bad we are. Hell yeah! Uh, so that's the channel updates, I guess. For now, I don't know if that answered your question or not, but like, you know, we're trying our best um, for what we have right now. Um, vlog content. We haven't really filmed any updated stuff, so any vlog content we have is gonna be from Mason's house, and that was. It was a long months time ago. ago so. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm working on my um, vacation video right now. Okay, we can use that. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on my summer's holiday. <laughs> I don't know why you just you when you talked about it, you looked like you were just a little pretentious. You know what? Man, you've been on my ass all day. <laughs> uh, Sky High uh, says season three or merge? Question mark. Sad face. Who said that? Sky High. Sky High, like the movie with the superheroes in high school? I guess so. Yeah. He's roasting your name, so like, 
roast him back in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come back. Like, what the fuck is that fucking shirt? <laughs> I, I feel like we can't really drop any merch until we get until like until we get more subscribers. To be honest, at, you heard at, it. This, you heard it from point, the CEO. Well, himself. at this point, I feel like it's it's not going to be a waste of money. But then again, it is because even though if people are interested in buying it, which is great. It's still a lot of money on our end to get that set up and then even like pay for shipping and stuff like that. So I feel not like really. Need... I but... will say this though: what state? <laughs> All right, I guess I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm just no. I mean... Let's get a fuck you, Mason, in the I chat. I was just gonna say you get some print on demand stuff. You have it on that website and it just sits there until somebody buys something. You don't have to spend anything. I, I, I but. I would want to wait till we at least get a little bit bigger following to start dropping. You'll probably see us wear stuff before you ever get a chance. <laughs> uh, season three or merch? Season three that's obviously coming. Um, we're working on some things right now, getting that booted up. As far as I think we're, I say we. I'm in the beginning stages of cover art and stuff like that. Everybody else will jump in probably in January when I need them. My 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 um, my comments on season three are just enjoy the rest of season two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't forget. And on it was called three, yeah. Yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, merch. Uh, Mason said no. So. Uh, I fuck. mean, unless y'all want to do it, I just don't see it's. Re- I, no, don't put it back on us now. No, no but no, I feel like no. in order for us for to get merch, we should set a goal. Yeah, for set, sure. We should set a goal of two, two hundred fifty, maybe three hundred subscribers. Well, we're already at one hundred and eighteen. Yeah, I know. So, oh, we, we, wow. make, we make it a go- we make it a goal before we start dropping some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. One hundred, one hundred nineteen subscribers. Oh, look at that, Thank guys. You, oh, yeah. This banner that's on the bottom of your screen. It's Cameron's banner. 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Central Time. He's live only on Twitch with the boys, uh, including other streamer friends. He's there. Go chat with us live. If you're listening to us on all audio platforms, check us out on YouTube and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, check out our all audio platforms and support us there, too. We'll see you next week on The Undrafted. <laughs>